So I'm here with Mvula. <laughs> uh, it's a new guest, a new guest of the podcast. Uh, I'll say guest, he might be here often, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, this is Mvula. My bro, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man, good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I don't want to limit you, man. Uh, yeah. we, we can mix language, like with the language that you are free. Yeah, yeah. I don't want us to stick with English. <laughs> no, from, from what I understand with, with what, what, what you're doing and who you are, you, you want us to, you want us to be free. You want us to, um, so I'll actually get one Yeah. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, we, we're Africans, we're black. Sure. So for this cool oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we can keep on speaking. For this cool room, for this cool room, for this cool room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I'm here. You wanted me. Yeah. And I wanted to be here. Sure, man. I'm bringing you to my audience. Uh, first of all, I'd like to start a, que- a conversation with a question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm with a question. Like, well, what is it that you'd like to say to South Africans, or? Africans. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be straight on. I'm gonna hit it the name the way it is. Yeah. Africans just need to wake up. Yeah. Africans need to wake up. Um, it's, it's unfortunately that as much as it's easy to say we have to wake up, but it's not. That's the truth. You know, um, the environment that we've been put in. I believe I our perception is what surrounds us. Yeah. You know, if you if you if you in a community or household that that um, that fights a lot, you're gonna be someone who's gonna go to the world with anger issues and whatnot. So you are what you're exposed to, and unfortunately for us Africans, we've been exposed to the Western life. We've yeah. been exposed to being told that our ways, our original ways, are bad. Uh, a, a less significant uh, uh, what's the word? what's the word like like you know our ancestors were crazy they were, they were barbarians they loved calling us barbarians we are uncivilized about those type of knowledge the, 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 <laughs> that type of information yeah. and that information is is is, is 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 being repeated not only in our generation but the generation before us and before they were actually the generation before us is our parents yeah. and not all not only our parents but our grandparents as well and our great grandparents so you have this this information that is being passed on and this mentality being 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 seeded in each mind and each mind passes over and over and over to the point where it's now on us yeah and it's hard to wake up you know yeah. And and I'm a victim of that myself. I'm going to show it in Plumbe. I'm all woke and what. Aye, aye, <laughs> uncle. Look, I, I don't even like the term woke because I feel like nah, no, they'll come out to woke. It's 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 not a fashion. Hey, woke, be woke, be woke, be woke. But um, due to the lack of the lack of words to to describe this woke thing, I'm just going to use you know, woke. But um, even if I can see things, I realize things. It's still difficult for me to step out of the, the 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 environment that I live in. You know, the information that I've already been fed on. But that's just one thing that I want to say to Africans: that guys, our ancestors were not stupid. Our ancestors were not dumb. You know, when I say our, I mean even you, fellow Christian, the the, the Christian <laughs> that says uh, ancestors are demon. No, they're not. But it's fine. That's that this based on on, on 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 different people's perception. But what I'm saying is, the same people that you call demons were not dumb when they when they when they still occupied the physical body. Those people were smart. We come from royalty. I was telling someone the same thing, yeah. that you come from royalty. The fact that you are um, you are a machetwa because 
that's her surname, the person I said in your Macheto. So the fact that you are Macheto, right? there was a person in Lawa Pila before his name was Macheto. That's, that your surname is based on that person. And that person was probably a chief, a king, a, but he had a significant, um, uh, uh, he had a significant position in society. It could be a chief, could be a king, but fact is, you carry the same name, so you are royalty. Yeah. Therefore, every African is royalty. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, every African is royalty. Yes, <laughs> you are yeah. royalty. You descend yeah. from royalty. Yeah. Yeah. But it's 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 hard for people to to say that because when I was a goatee, when you're royalty, you need to I don't know stay in a palace, have money, because that's the image that we've been put on our faces. You know, um, that's and 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 Leo concept. When I think about it, it's it's something that correlates with the with the Western. Because that's how they do it. You have the royal family and then you have the peasants. Yeah. What else? When we started looking at food like that, Yasli Maza, because now you don't see, like me, I'm as one. I don't see myself as royalty because I'm angry. Yeah. I'm angry. I'm what now, what now. The confirmation. confirmation. But the fact is, I'm royalty because there was a man called Zwani that I am named after, you know. Actually, actually, my dad is a Shamin, my mom is a Zwani. And I'm using Zwani. But for, for the sake of the conversation, I'll just go with I'm a Zwani. Yeah. But even if I was a Shamin, still, you know, even if I, I say I'm Shamin, I still descend from royalty. Yeah. Just like you descend from royalty, just like every black child under the African sun is from royalty. Yeah. So there are several things that I feel like black people just need to wake up. Bible and land. This Western life that has been put to our faces is not for us. That's why we have so many problems, because we're living a life that is never meant for us. Yeah. So, you know, someone would say, would ask the question, since he's saying, as Africans, we need to wake up. Someone would ask, okay, Mina, I've been staying in Lokshin for almost the whole of my life. <laughs> How do I wake up? Because, I don't to Makai. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look, uh when I, that person that would ask that question, I am not so different from, from them, right? Uh, okay, perhaps for me, I'm the Komekai. It's what did. It's okay. It's a kai, it's what did. But even though last things in Kai is what did, I didn't grow up on the on maybe I can't. I I grew up under the Western, <laughs> the Western lifestyle. lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, the Western lifestyle, uh, which is Christianity. And some people may claim we or we for hosting, but the fact is, Christianity is Western. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I, like I don't care what you no more saying. Yeah, Christianity is Western. Sure. Christianity is Western. That is why when you become a Christian, you can't even wear traditional clothes. <laughs> you need to wear a suit and a, and a thing. It's Western. You you change your lifestyle. You 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 one wife, one wife, kids, family, eating a table. It's Western. This all Christianity is is Western. And I grew up under that. You know, I grew up in a strong Christian home. And I, I was, I was never exposed to traditional, uh, the, the the traditional side, my culture. Yeah. Because I was always told it's demonic, it's everything negative about it. So Lomundo also was a question Leo, but say na u say lokshe ni u kala u pe si afanam nenai. No, but the only difference is that, uh, for me, I I, well, okay, not the difference, but for me. Lord thing is in figure to lang corner corner it it something had to shift me, you know. For starters, I never really connected with the whole Christian thing, even though I was raised in a Christian home. Yeah. And it's uh, it's tied up with the passing of my dad, you know. And same thing that, that I even transformed into this traditional person was because of my dad and my daughter. Because when I had my daughter. I started seeing myself as my dad because this is a position I've taken. But then, if I'm my dad, does it mean that then tomorrow I'll be a demon should I die to my daughter? Knowing very well how much I love my daughter and I don't think I'm 
the evil person knows what it is. I don't know how Christians really, really put it. Abo, I really put it, but 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 to me, I'm like, no, I know that I love my daughter. Therefore, I know that my dad loves me. Therefore, I know my grandfather loved my dad. So automatically, they love me because I know that I'm gonna love my daughter's kids. Yeah. Abo, like that's how I really place. I was like, no man, something like go right up at this whole demon thing. And sisters, I started digging. And how did I dig? How did I dig? I spoke to people who were already on the space. I think you also need to have a curious mind. Yeah. Yeah, go. and have no cultural, no cultural, um, no, no cultural ground, but you have to have a curious mind and open mind. It's okay, as in, uh, yeah, and then maybe I'm an orphan. Because it happens, you know. You could look shit now as mix up at yourself. Explore, be a person who's open minded and be like, you know what? Just go there and have a conversation. I was in club, so badala, so full of Just go have a conversation. Prophets, you know, in churches. Nalapo, it's like a slippery slope in the prophet and churches. But look, you just have you just have to have a curious mind. Sit there, go there, sit like wherever laws are laws are gonna always know something is happening somewhere else. Yeah. You can get certain information. Go there and find out. That's how I ended up becoming the person like traditional and 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 accepting my ancestors and connection the answers in God because I've always known God was there even when I was still a Christian and I didn't connect to Christianity but I've always known because God is there yeah. Yeah. just not sure about the whole Christian thing but God is there yeah. so 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 for personal selection who's in that situation that you just told me about and and, and, and yeah and just ask and the moment you ask I swear things will start making clearer Bit by bit by bit by bit, you start, yeah. and before you know it, you see the world differently. So, as you say, what you want to make very curious. Uh, I believe, actually, not really believe because when you say you believe, you should talk about something. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it yeah. means you not sure. So, I know what everyone has a curiosity mind, but then at some point it gets blocked. By the society, or I want to feel now. For most of the time, what I saw, uh, like from people who were, who are in a way, or who were, the time when I was also in uh, the Christianity, Western things, like when you question certain things about the the book layer corner, like, uh, like I don't know how to say this in this is uh, like I got piggy so I like something like that. Yeah, I got yeah, yeah, I know yeah, yeah. I've I've always got that, right? Um I mean growing up I used to um uh, I have a good relationship with my grandmother. I was raised by Kokone. Yeah. Uh Christian strong lady, very decay in some twenty. Yeah, I mean like as I said, yeah. Christian Christianity, right? Yeah. I used to have questions and I asked my grandmother, right? And this is me being a kid. I asked my grandmother questions, she'd answer me. I think about her answers, Yeah. But and and a man is, it still happens that much, but obviously man is same talent. and how to ask someone without offending them and whatnot. But 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 with whenever you ask a Christian a question, it always leads to another question. Like it's a I don't know if you've noticed. Always Christian in question with opinion. Yeah. But then let me tell you be like, I man. But so and so and so. Yeah. And then then they'd have an answer for that. And then like another question will come, but then it'll get to a point where each answer they give you will give a question. But there'll be a point where there'll be a question you'll ask and they won't have an answer. Yeah. And then that's when they pull. No, who are you? God is great. You don't you don't question God. Sure. They always pull the card and whenever they don't know an answer, don't question God. Right. But now that I've grown up and and I'm like, okay, my grandmother used to do the same thing now. Like usually that's how I come with an end on 
Hey, Mvula, who do you think you are? Hey, God is great. You don't question God. Then, I'm as a kid. I go, I'm in fear and whatnot. And I just stop. I'm like, okay, I God, strike me with lightning or something like that. Mm. But mind you, I'm 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 a person that says, because I still engage with Christians, right? Yeah. I, I ask questions, you know. And if I love, I would say, well, I'm not saying if I love. Let me just say, in this, in, now in this case is now I ask questions about things that I've read with my two eyes. In the Bible, because sure. when I was a kid, I wasn't reading the Bible. Yeah. Right now, I I read the Bible. You understand that Bible? Even though I'm out of the Christian space, I read yeah. the Bible. Uh, I still want to read the Quran as well and all the other spiritual texts, right? Sure. Uh, sure. It, it, it doesn't. Oh, please. Nice. Now, please pause for me. It doesn't really hurt me to read. Yeah. You know, yeah. like as I said, curious mind, right? Sure. It doesn't hurt me to read. So, mind you, when I engage with Christians and they hit me with the, because when my questions I'm very anzi my faith. Yeah. To the point that we see even even oko oko mind you, because same time I get niya sangsha or what not. Yeah. She just get upset. That's why he also proves she has a same tool that we like. And I'm busy looking at like so much so many questions. So getting to the but to to my peers to my peers whenever they hit me with the, I'm busy go no go no who are you who are you? My answer is that he gave me a brain. Sure. God created everything for a reason, right? Mm-hmm. They'd be like, yeah, 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 Fred. Okay, he gave me a brain. He gave me a brain, he gave me these thoughts. And he created everything. If he created everything, then he's created part yeah. as well. Yeah. And we're talking about someone who knows the past, the present, and the future. Therefore, he knew I was going to ask this question as well. Ah, Lapo, Lapo, what the hell? Yeah, but the thing is, you can't say, like, I can't ask him what else he knew I was going to ask him. Yeah. Lapo. Yeah. And even if he didn't know I was going to ask him, he gave me the brain. He gave me the organ to, to think. think. And, appreciate, appreciate. and there's a scripture in the Bible that says, um, where God says, where God says, follow me with, with understanding. Like, that's, like, that's, that's like the passage. And I always tell Christian, God says, follow him with understanding. You didn't just say, follow me for the sake of following. Yeah. Understand yeah. me. And how do you understand something? Question. Right? Questioning, exactly. And you get the answer, and then you understand. So, Mina, when I ask these questions, you Christians, you take it as an offense because you can't answer those questions. That's why you will go out and tell me not to ask God. God wants to be asked. God gives us brain because he wants us to ask us. He is knowledge after all, right? Yeah. So how do you acquire that knowledge? By asking. <laughs> which, which I never do. I never try to convince anyone out of their their belief and whatnot. I just yeah. talk what I, how I see things. Sure. I don't think I'm a convincer or a manipulator. Or, what you uh, uh, like, ah, yeah, as in, uh, <laughs> as, you know, but, um, but yeah, 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 they, 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 this is one of the things that the Christians, Christians like to do whenever they're stuck yeah. and not know how to answer, which, I wish I don't get it, would say, why can't they just say, I don't know? Because it never has to say, I don't know. Really, you can never know everything. Whether you're a pastor, prophet, it was wrong. Yeah. So if I ask a question, you can just say, I, I don't know. And I won't even attack you on that. I won't say, ah, you're Christian, but you don't know. Yeah. I was. Sure. And I hope you get to know. I hope you get the information and come back and tell me when you know it. Yeah. But they never say they don't know. They don't want to say they don't know. And my, uh, there's another thing because uh, it, to some it may sound like we are taking Christianity or Christians, mm, mm. but then also other religions like they are the same. There's no True. difference. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, because even Muslims as well, they say the same thing. Yeah. Don't question God. Yeah. They say it as well. I've, 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 I've interacted with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the Muslim to work. I just say things. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm He's black. He's people have a perception because I'm Muslim. Yeah. Uh, you Arab, I Arabs and you know, sure. mm-hmm. Upper East. But no, no, they are like I know a lot of black. I want to say, African. Yes, I'm gonna say it, African, because sure. Africans are black. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't <laughs> play, I'm not that was what If you don't play, you are not yeah. African. Yeah. You are not African. <laughs> Maybe the colors see. I will. We can see Swinza yeah, well, maybe. But you see, we can include them, yeah, but Africans yeah. are black. Yeah, okay, Mara, okay, ne? 
uh, I, I remember, I don't remember when, but then re, I'll just say recently, ne, mm-hmm. I got uh, enlightened in a way about the word black. With Africans, we are black. It's something that was forced to us to believe which we are black. Mm-hmm. We used to call ourselves African. Mm. You know, with Africa, you find these certain people. Mm. So, Lentole, like, yeah, being called right. black, they came with it so that you can accept the concept, yeah, they are white. They are white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah. And they call us um, people of color. Yeah. Whereas, in fact, they're the ones who are colored. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, even we are not kind of we are because we're the original ones. Original. Even sci- even their science says it. Yeah. We were here first. Yeah. Therefore, how are we the colored ones? They are the ones who are colored. We are the normal ones. Yeah. Lack of words, because <laughs> because I'm not saying <laughs> we people abnormal, but I mean, due to the lack of words and and and, and please <laughs> listeners, I I know you. <laughs> Um, I, I believe that you 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 with me here. I'm not saying that white people are abnormal, but I'm just saying that we came first. Therefore, we should be setting the standard of what's 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 normal or what's what's original, sure. right? Yeah. Then anything after that, then it should get a name, you know. So, so we are Africans, and then the colored people came. Yeah. Which are the whites, yeah, the, the Indians, light the, the light skins. Yeah, the light skins then came. They are the ones. People of color. Yeah. That's why we should be calling people of color. Yeah, sure. But then, but then, yeah, we are the people of color, though, according to them. And they they made us to to be like, to to be afraid of color, uh, the black color. Mm. Like, True. it's another thing. True. True. Like, True. like you think otherwise. You think evil, yeah, darkness, evil, that, mm, that's darkness. How they us. No, even even when they talk about hell, it's yeah. dark. Yeah. You know, it's dark. Anything black. Perhaps that's why guns are made black. Maybe. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Maybe, bro. Funerals black. That's how they program that. It's to, for us to be afraid of it. Like the, the color black. And I never thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> now that you've been amazed, they are like, how many black things are there that resemble goodness? <laughs> But everything white is pure, pure. clean. Even when you picture heaven, you see a whole lot of whiteness, yeah. white clouds, yeah. white. Everything has to be, you know. When you go to heaven, you, you wear white robes. Mm. You know. It, 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 it's corrupted. It's corrupted knowledge in a way. They programmed us in another way, like. Sometimes when I find out about these things, I just laugh, man. Like, because I can't be sad finding out the truth. Mm. Like, just as I found out, which I've been lied to all along, lent all the religions. When I found out, like, <laughs> it was sort of like joy because I found something new that's making me alive now. And and, and fine enough, with you, I didn't show what you find you find joy. That's that's exactly how I felt as well. Yeah, you know. My, uh, the mother of my child, um, when we were still together, she loved to, ch- she loved to call me an atheist. I'm like, atheist. Yeah. This is, this is when, this was like, my 2017, 2017, 2018, yeah. She used to tell me, you, you atheist, you're atheist, you don't believe in God. Like I said before, I've always believed there is a higher power. Yeah. I've always believed that even as a kid, I knew there's something bigger. Just that I just didn't connect with the whole Christian thing. So now I'm in varsity. I meet this girl. She sees the way I am. And then she says, you're an atheist. You don't believe in God. You don't believe in... And very true. At that point, I kind of also almost believe I was atheist. Because I was a person who says science, you know. Yeah. You know, if I throw a ball up, it comes down. Gravity. There's no forces or magic or no like science had to explain yeah. everything. But even in that mindset, at the back of my head, I was like, but you know, science alone doesn't explain everything. You know, some things you, 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 there just has to be some sort of higher power intervention. But anyways, to her, I mean, I was an 
an atheist, um, for those not believe in God and Prince Jaran and that much, right? Well, uh, uh, doesn't believe in God. And then, um, for the first time, I felt something when I then became this person who was trying to connect with my father, which, which, um, like I said, he passed away, right? So I've been trying to, trying to connect with him, trying to find my way. So now I'm stepping into the whole African tradition side. And funny enough, as much as I was looking for my father, I end up connecting with other people within my bloodline. Yeah. So I ended up connecting instead of my dad. But either ways, when I had that connection, I had joy as well. For the first time, I was like, damn, man, I think, I think I'm at the right place. Now, like, this is it. Like, I'm going to say, you know, I, you know, they, they're in my blood. I, I know these people. I, I, I can feel them. Even when I have dreams about them, I, it feels like DJ, this warmth, this, this joy and, 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 and this awakening. Yeah. This awakening, um, um, this, uh, finally seeing the, 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 the true power of, 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 of us as Africans, you know. Congo all started shaping in, coming into the picture as well. And really, like, the, when you talk about you having joy and peace, finding out this information, that's exactly how I felt as well. Yeah. I was like, damn, man, for the first time, for the first time I believe in something besides <laughs> the higher power. Yeah. You know, when they believe in Muhammad or in Jesus, and Zov and Yabo, but now, now, now I'm now I'm feeling something. Now I have I'm experiencing something. I think we once talk about this, which we, we Africans we don't believe, we experience. Yeah. That's what happened you to know. me. I experienced Christianity was saying believe. Yeah. I don't need to believe in 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 in, 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 in my ancestors. Because I've experienced them. Sure. I connected with them. I feel them. Yeah. So I, I, I got that feeling now of joy, of relief. And the more I dig in, I start seeing with high man. Black people, ah, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever that, that I knew as us black people and what I know now are two different pictures now. We have been led astray. I feel the That's joy as well. I, I, I feel the joy. That's why, that's why I agree with you, Mazu. You, 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 you feel joy, you know, yeah. connecting to, your, to the African side because that's how I felt as well. I felt like I was in the right place. Because another thing, I mean, as well, was, was I, always, I always felt like I was out of place as well yeah. in, in the world. Um, not, not as an individual, but, or, or, or personally, but because I was black, you know. I always felt like, ah, I'm the Mia Manji. I see a space age, I'm clever in Jabo. It's always like the whites, the Asians, you know. They're the ones doing things, great things. For us blacks, you can count right. the blacks who are doing things. So, I, so I've always felt like I was out of place in the world. But then when I got in touch with the African side, see, I'm not out of place with the world. The world is out of place with us. Sure. Yeah, that's, what, that's what's happening. We are not out of place yeah. in the world. It's the world that is out of place with us. Yeah. So, and the world doesn't love blacks. I'll say blacks, as we are used to it now. Doesn't, the world doesn't like Africans. It never did, it doesn't, and it and never will. Yeah. They'll never. They'll never. The only reason why they're not killing us is because they need us. Sure. And unfortunately, they will never kill us because they will always need us. <laughs> That's the unfortunate part for them. Yeah. Yeah, but people always talk about, I hear people talk about, ah, white people don't want to kill us, especially with the COVID thing. Ah, they depo depopulating Africans, what not. Okay, perhaps, perhaps maybe they are trying to cut the numbers. I don't know. I, I'm not sure on that. Perhaps they are. But what I know is they can't kill us all. Yeah, when well, they can't. They, they can't, can't kill us all. I don't even think they can, they, they can even afford to kill half of us. Maybe. Or even a quarter of us. I don't think, I, I, look, the world, the, world, the world will not spin yeah. if black people die. Yeah. The world will stop. Sure. That's why everything, every great thing, that has ever been created in the world, there's black people behind it. Mm -hmm. If not the start of it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Mankuluma, especially with those who are also who are still in, in, in their religions. When I say 
<laughs> when I say the power is in you, like you are the creator. Hey, Susa, any be like, yes, it. But then the thing is, um, the word creator, it's it's a misconce- misconception in a way, like we have been miseducated about the word creator mm. because whenever you think of a creator, you think of what they call Mkulu God. Mm. Yeah. But then a creator, it's, it's someone who creates. Mm. As long as you can create something, you are a creator. So you are also part of the creator, the, the, the most high. Mm. <laughs> um. But we made we made in God's image, which <clears throat> which is something that I always argue with Christians. You know, Christians say that um, no, we call we made in God in, in God's image. Uh, therefore, God is a is a being, is a person, is a. And I would say, because I don't think that's what they mean when they say in His image. You know, um, your your abilities. Could be an image, you understand? If your father, if, if your father is a carpenter, and you become a carpenter yourself, you are his image, because you're doing the same thing that he was doing. Sure. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are his image, because of and I, you know, an apprentice can be your image. It's just someone just so starting at MK. You can respond. Yeah. I, but I don't know who says I respond. I just I just need to make money. You just teach me. Umfundi yeah. say he gets the skill. He becomes as good as you. Is he then not not your image anymore? I say image yaku. Oh, he's your image now exactly because he's doing the same skill the way that you're doing it. But the Christians know they they prefer having a god that is sitting on a chair with a long beard yeah. with. On sandals, somewhere there, they, they they prefer to have that type of God, you know. And yeah. Yeah. Well, but but um, but going back to Linda's show, with the creators, the, with the belief that I have, um, when it comes to with the image of God, I look at it from that perspective that we have God's attributes. Yeah. We don't look like God, because God does not have a face, does not have eyes, <laughs> does not have hair, yeah. you know. God is not humanoid, if I can put it like that. Perhaps he can't be humanoid. Yeah, he can. That, yeah, he can't be here a humanoid. Yeah. And, and I say he because of how the world has painted God, <laughs> that he should be a man. But, but God doesn't even have a gender. gender yeah. yeah, God doesn't even have a gender. But sure. because of the conversation and the, the context of our conversation to make it flow, we'll use him, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, well, but not to our, we are his image. I, I believe that they just mean the attributes. So he's the creator. Therefore, we are creators as well. I mean, look what, we, what we've done with the world. Isn't that creator. no proof that we're creating? Yeah. We are creative. Uh, and people shouldn't misunderstand the word as well, creative, because now uh, a lot of us have been misled in terms of understanding what is creativity. Mm-hmm. Because Mawati Umundi is creative. You think of, I don't know, man, the way by Shonga Khan, the way they explain creativity, like it's a special yeah, thing, yeah, that it's a special extra- thing. Ordinary. Yeah, extraordinary. Like not everyone, not everyone can, can do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Misconception. <laughs> Huge one. Because yeah. we are all creative. Yeah, we are. We create. One or another, yeah. we create. Yeah. I think that the most basic creation that we have is procreation. Yeah. There's like there's like basic like sure. level number one creativity. Yeah. No, because yeah. you, you you're creating. Sure. And then get this other ways of creating. Yeah. Thoughts. Sometimes sometimes in the the way back on a corner, I to a point where you can see um perhaps not everything created has has to be seen. I don't know if I'm making sense. I, I get what you say. Yeah. You create your head. Sure. Be- but uh, before you continue, sorry for interrupting you. Before something happens in the physical, it starts yeah. mental. Yeah. So <laughs> that's how it is. That's creation. Yeah. You've created. Yeah. Huh. 
net abalungu laba bapete ngoku humanize the god like the most high mm. and also gave him a gender that's where they messed up uh, and then this thing yeah like since you figure la it separated a lot of us we went because uh me nane uh, since ngavuka to realize ukuthi this journey that i was on is a lie and then i found this one le, that's keeping me in joy mm. uh, knowing who i am and also digging more to know where i come from mm. uh mang 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 like research uh i i used to do it there and there to connect in a way for me to connect it like a puzzle mm. i pick pieces there and there to connect a puzzle so that it makes sense for me so yeah google research as as africans we knew who god is and then <laughs> we never we never had people who said ah tina we believe in spanbani there okunye uthi sispanbani like the cause has believed no it was all war as in the kuma is something that i told uh the person that i was talking to as well i was telling him that the thing about african spirituality right is as firstly we had no religion yeah. secondly african spirituality is personal to you to you it it, it, it it stages right it's personal to you meaning the things that when uh, you connect with or you see or you feel or you, you connect with that only have to do with you that your brother or your son yeah. can't even do it now they, they have their own separate things sure. so you have something that 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 has to do with you is something that has to do with your clan as collective kuzi maslangene yabo this is what happens this is how we feel um community uh, probably also as a tribe so these are like different different level but then it all breaks down to you at the end of the day yeah. you know what you feel or how you connect to to god unlike the western religion that says we are all collective you know if you feel anything different you're wrong yeah. we all should be here So saying this person was there's a thing about african spirituality that it just has to do with you mm-hmm. that is why in africa we never had wars i'm not saying the africans never had wars back in the day they did right. war war right. war was always there but sure. but but it was never a religious war because yeah. if you look deep into it in today's time we have a lot of religious war americans and iraq of course it's oil right but also americans represent christianity iraq represents islam yeah and it's not the first time islam in america i mean islam and christians have went head on even in history it's there it's written that you know back in the 13th century and what not that always had was sure. muslim versus christianity yeah. even today they don't even get along christian and the muslim don't even get along yeah because well, there's always that conflict there but we Africans we didn't have that because we knew what whatever that you feel you feel what i feel i feel that's cool enough for us yeah being equal the thing kuti funa sifuna mali sicabaneke silo ukuthi hayi ngoba wena uphahla emfuleni mina uphahla entabeni wona wrong yabo for uphahla emfuleni yabo that's why you connect yabo for sure that's cool enough yabo we always knew who the creator is and the creator is every day we see the creator every day rising yeah. from the east and 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 going back to the show <laughs> and 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 the show about 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 the the chaos that happened in africa right yeah um i mean i always, I, i believe that christianity or let, or let or let me let me say the the main, mainstream religion because now it's going to sound like we're just bashing christianity right <laughs> yeah. um just but i think Christianity is is on our lips because 
it's, it's what surrounds us. Dominating. Yeah, dominating right. and surrounding yeah. us. But let, let me say mainstream, because yeah. mainstream now we put in the Jews, uh, Jewish, Judaism, Islam, yeah. Christianity. Yeah. Right. Um, the thing is about uh, in mainstream religion, I always say, uh, I always tell people that I feel like it was one of the colonization tools. You know, it was tactic, you know. They, they had ways of they had, in, in, in their quest for colonization, there was a, there was a, there was a social tactic where we don't use guns, we don't lose violence, we just talk, get on your good side, trust, you follow us. There's that, and then there's, there's, there's and then, then there's the religious part where now we have to force you guys to, you know, believe in us, what not, believe in what we believe. Yeah. And then there's the, and then there's the, 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 the warfare and the, and the forcefully taking. We want your land, we're killing you, yeah. you know. But religion is definitely one of the tools that I feel like it was, uh, it was used. It, it was a tool. It was uh, a tool of colonization. It was a tool to make us weak. Mm. Because Mama uh, Cheka Gu Bible, there there are certain verses that say I forgot this verse with you. They say, if you want to share your palm and up, you need get this other side. So that they <laughs> eat you. Uh, the 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 the, the teaching was it's 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 it says don't retaliate or don't yeah. seek vengeance. Yeah. That was the core teaching of that scripture sure. by Jesus. The teaching. Yeah. yeah, yeah, by Jesus. Yeah. It was to make us weak. Uh, there are also others, ne? but now this is the one that I can remember. No, equal equal way Jesus says that slave owner and respect your slave master. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you put the chick and the slave sure. together, yeah. you get Africa. Because sure. you're enslaved, but you can't fight back because you're telling on the chick. I mean, yeah, it's like. <laughs> It's it's, it's 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 like the paradox of 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 um get a qualification to get a job, yeah. But to get a job, you need experience, sure. yeah. Like like sure. So I was was like, mom mom from my high school, do I go get a job so I can have experience to get a job, only to be told I don't qualify because I don't have qualification, or do I get the qualification and not have the experience? So to be told I don't have the experience ever. Yeah. It's something like that. Now go and I would say. <laughs> Say, um, I hit you on one cheek, you give me the other cheek. Sure. And then there's the slavery, you must honor your slave master. So no matter what the slave the slave master does to you, you can't retaliate because yeah. you need to turn the other cheek. Always. I was shy the dude. Like I was shy. Was shy yes, we are very weak. Because now even we can't even solve our problems. We look on to Prayer. I'm not saying prayer doesn't work. Don't get me wrong. But then, I'm not saying with prayer doesn't work. Uh, not we define, like, I, I'm saying this because we define prayer as, like, when, when you connect into the, uh, the, the higher, the, the high, the, those who are higher uh, than, than you, it's the way that you use prayer. You should, we say it's prayer. Uh, but then, Tina <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that doesn't work, prayer, um, because actually I'll highlight again. Whenever we define prayer in a lot of understandings, in a way, I'll say I'm not saying. Prayer. But then, but then let's be honest, though. Let's be honest. When you say prayer, yeah. there's only one prayer that everyone is thinking on yeah. prayer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, the whole that's that's what everyone thinks when you say prayer. As mm. if we Africans we never prayed. <laughs> we prayed as Africans before the Bible hit this continent. Yeah. We were praying. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> but no one is, is able to further that yeah. to put in their head with Yaipo. Because they think that prayer is a Christian thing, yeah. you know. Yeah. As if Muslims don't pray as well. If you tell a Christian, yeah. because, ah, when you think prayer is only you, most of them they pray as well, you know. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure I'm a Muslim now. When you think of prayer, they they think of you know kneeling down on the on the carpet and bowing down. Yeah. It's prayer. But we also pray as Africans. Yeah. 
standards. Yeah. So and oh, and, and 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 if Christians are gonna start attacking me on some, hey, teta apilogo ini ini something just need common sense, which is what God gave us, painful, yeah. right? If we didn't pray, why do we have so many different names of God in different cultures? So nin, very nine. Look, every African language has a name for God. Yeah. Every African language has a name for God. So what are we naming then if we didn't pray to it? Like, <laughs> what, what, are we, what are we naming it for? Yeah. What, what is the point of acknowledging these things existent, these mudimos existent, or existent, if we don't want to pray to it? If now we will only focus on... Am I, am I losing in, 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 in my talk? This shows that we we knew God was there and we prayed to God to the yeah. nine. We prayed. Because the man who are who are who are in the traditional space, they do that. But apart from that, they talk to their ancestors and then after that they pray. I do that as well. I pray. But the difference <laughs> Oh my goodness, Christians are gonna hate us. That's a, but the difference with me when I pray, I do not close my prayer with two things. I don't close it with two things. Yeah. I don't close it in Jesus' name. Yeah. I don't close it in Amen. Yeah. yeah. But I do <laughs> I do pray to God. Sure. It doesn't matter how I pray. Sometimes I close my eyes. Sometimes I don't close my eyes. Okay, in most cases, I don't even close my eyes. Yeah. I can sit here, drink this water and while praying. Sure. Know? I don't even have to talk. I yeah. can just sit and drink and let my thoughts do the praying for me. I'm praying. Yeah. But I don't say in Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs> the thing, okay, one of the way learning a call, it's like a song. Uh, the prayer is like a song. It's, it's, it's a, conjugal visa and this thing. It's a mantra, mm. the prayer. And then, it's, it has its own people who knows it, what it means when people are praying it. My uh, like, like that ends with an amen. Mm. Uh, that amen, it means let that be hidden in a way. Like, in a way, when you say amen, that's what you say. Uh, that's when you go to the history of that word, etymology of mm. amen. Mm. I have to, I have to, it, I have to look at that. It, it's a corrupted word from Kemet, uh, uh, Amun. Amun. Yeah, the word Amun. It's a corrupted word from there. Uh, <laughs> like, isn't this by like, it's it's mantras, it's songs, even even other songs in the musical space. It's songs that are actually rituals. When you sing them, like when a lot of people sing them, it's a ritual. But then people will, di will disagree with me because it's not a ritual that they see. They see, yeah, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's spiritual. Laban mm. Bayaz, if they make you sing songs like uh, making mantras of 10, of 10, and then in, in, in me, like, this, this, goes, this goes, this goes, let me show. It connects um, together with with the calendar. Yeah. That we're praying on the 31st. Where else we are neglecting in September? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And mind you, people that are watching this, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Like, pe people perfect. mustn't sit here and want him like, I, umvula. No, and as I said when I started this conversation, was he, now me, I'm part of the I'm part of the system, I'm part of the that that circle, you know. I'm sure. I'm trying to get out. Yeah. That's why I can tell you it's difficult. Yeah. Getting out from the space. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am fighting, I am doing this and that, trying to like, okay, um, I wanna do things differently now and try to get away from this. But one way or another, I find myself because it's habits, we grew up in this thing, it's around us, you know. Sure. But no, praying 31st, you're saying it's a new year. <laughs> what else? Our year. What signifies? Uh, well, what, what signifies a year? <laughs> Which I was saying, some other person the same thing. <laughs> Kutu, are you busy praying in 31st, going to the first, saying you're starting the year? What makes a year start? You know, they couldn't answer I me. Mean, and I told them it's spring. Yeah. 
spring makes the year start because spring that's when you the, the new fruits are coming you know new fruits are coming um animals are giving birth because by nature it's risky to give birth in winter there's no food let's not look at the modern life that we're living yeah yeah the perfect time to bring to to give birth it's during spring Sure. You get pregnant in winter. Winter is good for pregnancy. You get pregnant through the winter. Yeah. So that when spring starts and fruits and everything, there's food to feed the baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's why they, they would hibernate. animals would hibernate in winter. Sure. They hibernate pregnant. We do hibernate as well. Yeah, we do exactly. We also do <laughs> hibernate as well. Yeah, well. On March, on March uh, the 21st, mm. which uh, during the, the equinox, mm. that's when hibernation yes, begins for for the southern hemisphere countries. It's a it's a six year, I mean six months cycle okay. of hibernation. Mm. Now we're entering into the winter season, season. which starts with autumn, three mm. months of autumn, three months of winter. winter. But then it's winter, like six yeah, months of six winter, months, yeah. six months of summer. Yeah. But but you see the nature show which is, <laughs> by nature you get pregnant in winter. Yeah. So that in summer you give birth, so that there's plenty to feed. You All know, animals do that. I have to thank you, man, for that because <laughs> it's a question that I had recently. Uh, we're no longer doing these things correctly, like having sex at the perfect time, uh, procreation at the perfect time. As as in which money in MK man is. Let's the money is coming about to money and, and, and by the time you figure out where, like there's so many things that I've said to so many different people. Because I was telling this this other chick this other thing, it's we don't even know how to pick partners. Yeah. We have lost the ability to pick partners. Culturally, there are people that no matter what happens, no matter your relationship will never work yeah. because you are not meant to be with each other. Sure. There's that thing, what's it? Uh even if that moment, our relationship will never work because there may be the certain traditional things that will never allow us to connect. Sure. But yeah, about the clans are connected or oh. something, but it will yeah. never work. And, and 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 now we're living in a time where 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 we don't even know such information. That is why Dana, they used to be, uh, uh, what do they call this marriage? In what what that is? What is that gave? Marry the mob kete lo mudum faz. I forgot the term for it. Mob kete. Yeah, mob kete. Um, uh, arrangement. Oh, yeah, 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 marriage arrangements. That's, that's yeah. what I'm looking for. These used to be marriage arrangements which were held by the elderly. Yes. It wasn't your parents that held marriage arrangements. We don't go go go. Someone um done. Also, when I would say, is born or La Casper, I mean, now I'm far out of what I mean, the Unum Vulala, a Babon, a Pangi share, a Quasmelan, Nindoga, as a gentleman, she a coin, a was a bonu cork, or my grandmother, was a bona with ish. No, a Quasmelan, it will work. I don't know, Babonangan. I don't know how to the how 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 to figure it out, but. But they were yeah. able to spot yeah. to the point that even though Mina, even though Mina, I don't know this Melanie chick. I've never seen this Melanie lady. Yeah. If she comes, so that's some because they go, they talk to the family. Sure. Any arrangement does not include Mina, no. No, 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 no. 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 No, no, we we'll click, we'll have a healthy marriage, we'll be happy, we'll yeah. have beautiful kids. You know how much I think these elders, how how were they able to see what works? Yeah. But but they had the skill. That's the skill. In today's time, going back to the westernization, where we've been told to rebel against marriage arrangements. Yeah. We've been told to, to rebel. <laughs> sure. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, the 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 the, 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 the teachings that we got for, for 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 um for not accepting marriage arrangements, it coincided with also the lack of skill from our elders to see the right people to match. 
So u koko u koko washani sus ban banyana nendo masani ya kupi kupi yeah. ma families washanga na watu abashati ninga ni laba kanti pela bona bashule kile bona utivile aishanga nendo ya bo sure. when they got together the marriage became a disaster yeah. so by the time the western says guy this marriage arrangement this uh, marriage arrangement thing is not working you, you should have a right to choose the person you love what not nati mas pega vel Yes. Why are we doing this thing? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it coincided with the, the lack of our grandparents of sporting wives or husbands coincided with the Western teaching of rebel against, yeah. against marriage thing. So it sure. became a whole disaster. But if you start looking back, 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 Namaji, if you are still doing it, Namaji, they're doing it well. Yeah. They still elderly who still have that skill of picking up, of but but science I didn't do it. Arranged marriages and it still works sure. for those who do it right. But then now we live in a society where manje I was starting when I was there. So as funela when, abo. So as funela and guanachi we don't even have the skill of spotting the wife or or a husband. As soon as this is like a cause of societal pressure, cause of economics, abo. No one's gonna say it's so. Spirits, spirits are not mixing together. The disaster. We still hang on to each other. Yeah. Then the boss will keep a mustache, but he, but he uh, high divorce rates. <laughs> well, it was never yeah. supposed to be at the beginning. Abo GPV. You you find people that are dating who are not supposed to be together. Yeah. That is why now one is killing the other. Because you are not supposed to be together from the beginning. Sure. I don't have the clearest picture of what happens in the spiritual and what not, but one is I can take your sister. If I take your sister, no matter how much of a sweet guy I am, you are pretending. No matter how, how much of a nice girl she is, you are pretending. You have a very slow one. You don't have a problem with being a medicine from the beginning. So that's why we have high rate of divorce, high rate of GPV. Because we don't have the skill. I send us a skill of picking a wife or a husband. I send us a... There's a whole lot of skills that slash like it. You are counting them now. Which also we just don't know a lot of things. But we don't. Slash like it. Slash like it. And uh, <laughs> you want to learn to like your marriage ar- arrangements. Mm. I think, as you say, with Basasi Kona, Lawa and it works. Mm. But then they are protecting their space in a way. Those people are not well known in the society. It's few, like Mobas, like you must be fortunate to know them mm. as well. Because, uh, okay, they were given a call, and eh? those elders, they saw what was to come from whatever creation has created about these light races. They saw what was to come, like, example, maybe hundred years to come, mm. or hundreds of years to come. They saw that. And then they started to keep the knowledge to themselves. to themselves, like to to protect it in a way, that knowledge. Mm. Uh, but then now, as we are in this uh, great awakening, people are waking up. As you said, we yeah. tell about men of Vug. Yeah, and Bavu. Okay. Bavu. <laughs> like, like, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm the... I'm the perfect example to myself because yeah. I never thought I'd be this person. Mm. Never thought I'd be this person, but here I am. Yeah. That's why I'm like, people are waking up. If I was able to get myself here, sure. uh, and then surely, surely people are waking up. Because yeah. yeah. this is what I'm saying. Sometimes I'm and I just hear people just talking. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, man. At some point, spirituality, like yeah. random people are just like, talking about these things. Yeah. Africans are waking up slowly and slowly. Yeah. But then we are many now. The numbers are increasing. We, we are many, but not many enough. Yeah, not many now. But, yeah. but, it, but it's increasing. That's why, I mean, I believe in the words of Joshua Mapoa, right? Where he, he, te- he tells um, Penwell that, that um, he feels sorry for the future white people. 
sometime in the future, I feel sorry for those white people because there'll be a time where the generation, our generations in the future will not be allowed to take another slip on another cheek. Yeah. But at that point, we were like, <laughs> nope, we know we're not doing it. Yeah. And when black people become that, white people are going to topple. The world is going to go up and will spin around yeah. upside down. Yeah. White people are going to, they won't believe what's happening. They, won't, they themselves will not believe. And I, mean, I believe that. I do believe it because already we are at a great advantage. I mean, the whole world depends on Africa. Literally. Yeah. If, if Except for what they create out of our resources. Technology. Even, te even No, even technology itself, it needs Africa. Yeah. Technology itself needs Africa. What's this? What's this metal? Um, why am I forgetting? Why am I forgetting this? Uranium. Not not uranium. Um, no, it's not cobalt, man. There's this. There's this metal. Uh, when I when I took a trip, we say we say in Zambia. I uh, met up with this guy, Zivangchila, with the a Congo. They are mining this metal. Samsung is mining. Is, is, is taking this metal um, for, for batteries? For no technology. All technology has this metal. Okay. Got the name. Viewers, <laughs> please. I'm sure someone someone knows this metal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just uh, write it on the comment section there. <laughs> hey, Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 there's this metal that that yeah. every technology, yeah. every technology has it. Computers, yeah. cars, uh, computers, cars, yeah. phones. Look, if it's technology, it has it. Yeah. It's like, a car has like, has like 200 something of this metal in it. Sure. Like, like your, 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 your modern car, the corner yeah, munch. Yeah. Like technology, but yeah, but in the Samsung now, apparently the, there, was a, there was a case, there was a case on the Samsung CO. He, um, he was, um, he was he, he was part of the he was part of the we went to the Konali Kenya the story list but he, this Samsung guy was part of the, the the people who were contributing in the war in Congo yeah Congolese yeah and and then ngati wa banjo ganja ganja ni cases avuswa um and then Samsung had to I see. Actually, is, is it not called co cobalt? Cobalt, cobalt, yeah, yeah, yeah cobalt, the cobalt, yeah. cobalt, yeah, cobalt in Congo. Sure, sure. Yeah, 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 DRC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's then DRC, it, 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 a lot of it is, is is there. DRC is usually very rich in metals. Yeah. Yeah, but cobalt, it's it's, it's crazy. So apparently, this <laughs> this Samsung guy, yeah. well, this guy was just telling me this guy um. Wabona Laguti is funding the wars and whatnot. Because if, if, if the people, if the black people are fighting over this thing, no one is looking at the value. Yeah. You know, so they're able to get it at a very cheap price, you know. And finally, he was prosecuted. The Bamkosha CEO, this guy, or Puma, but there's someone else. But now this person can't do what this previous person was doing. So now it became expensive to get the, became the metal. Yeah. And Samsung was dipping. Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't even know if, if I'm supposed to even call brand names, but you bleep <laughs> it out. You bleep, you have to bleep. You, no. It, you have to bleep it out. You, you speak it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but but it's, it's what I heard as well when I was, when I was in Zambia. But apparently, um, when the when the sales were going down, I mean, not sales, when, when it became expensive to get the, the mine, yeah. I mean, to get this metal. Sure. Um, they brought the guy back. <laughs> they brought the guy, but like you know what? Nope, we're dying here. Like, yeah. like we'll, we'll see how we do with the with the cases and all of that. Just come back and do your magic. He came back, became cheap again, getting the metal. Yeah, but but um, but yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's uh, this metal is is in every technology. Yeah, phones, microphone, yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's everywhere. So 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 I was saying, yeah. So so the point I was saying is is um, Africa already is at an advantage. 
because we have everything. The world depends on us. You were saying technology as if it was on the Western side. But no, even the technology requires us, requires gold, requires oh, aluminium. Yeah. It's all here. Yeah. Everything is here. Food. 70% of the world's food is in Africa. Mm. 70% of it. And we see, uh, out of the 70% that is filled in the whole world, Nazi, we're using less than 20% of Africa's land. Less than 20% of Africa's land. So less than 20, let's say 20 for, for in this case. 20% of Africa's land is, 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 is feeding the whole world. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's it is. Marvel, big, numbers. Yeah, big, big numbers. Big numbers. And, and the thing is, yeah. I'm so confident because I'm in that space. I'm in the agricultural space. So. <laughs> but then so, we are, so, the information so. that we get from mass media yeah, it, it makes it seem seems like very look even even country. even this thing of food shortage, MK. Yeah. It's ugh, man politics agendas. Yeah. The world cannot be starving. Mm-hmm. Same thing, this thing of overpopulation. The world is overpopulated. It's it's BS. Okay, yeah. it's total BS. The world is populated only in cities. Exactly, only in cities. There is enough space for everyone in the world. What's the population here? What? 3 billion? How? It's like, I don't believe in those numbers, by the way. Like, but even with those numbers, even those numbers, yeah. like, like, there's enough land for everyone in this world. There's part of the planet that has not even been walked on. Yeah. Not sure about the water, the water. The water, it's, it's clear that we haven't even discovered 10% of it, of what's happening under the sea. We don't know what's happening under the sea. But I'm talking about the land. Yeah. Men have not walked all the land of the earth. Sure. There's still untouched land. Yeah. One place, the Amazon. The big forest place. Yeah. I think that's they only discovered less than 10% not up of it. The pyramids. Titiwaka. The Titiwaka pyramids and... and and I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's but city yeah, yeah, it's city work. Something like that. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's where like they, they they found those ancient sightings. But there's a whole lot of area that is not touched. Yeah. There's sometimes but just a satellite cutting at the Baboni Pyramid somewhere within the forest one. But I'm just saying what they haven't he seen he Southern America. Yeah. They haven't even we haven't even touched the whole continent. There are places that have not been touched. Africa itself, sure. there are places that have not been touched. In India, uh, Marathi recently, some were well, poor natives, yeah. but they, they, they used to be an island that that there were people who lived like their ancestors lived. No technology, no nothing. But not is a small island next to India, and apparently in India was protecting it, but. Now, see, we're not letting people in. Ah, man. I don't get it. But for the longest time, that land was not touched. Yeah. It had native people. Well, fine enough, those people are black. <laughs> those people are black, by the way. Sure. But that's another, I guess that's another topic. But I'm just saying, see, Africa already is, is at an advantage. Yeah. So the day Africa stops taking the other, slap on the other cheek, I failed. Ah, well, 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 out. This is getting long, and eh? but then I'd like for us to close it with this, uh, this, uh, this last chapter. Yeah. Uh, okay. People are waking up. Many people are waking up. Eh? and then there are those. Who are not waking up and then there are those who who have a choice now to wake up but then they don't want to wake up because <laughs> uh there's this other pastor that i know ne? i used to have conversations with him <laughs> he's a guy that i know like we talk mm. uh, <laughs> Not with this, I'm not saying the out with disrespect, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, 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 yeah,
uh, if I, like saying how evil the white men are. But then in my mind, I was asking myself, because if he can say this, he knows the evilness of these light races. Why can't he realize the thing that came? He's doing yeah. So, so, so no, the the um, thing that came with these light races, which is so, Christian. So the thing is about, yes, there are very Christians and even Muslim, black Muslim. Yeah. Most of the Muslims that I interact with are black. The African, yeah, the African Muslim, right? And some of them, they they say such things. Hey, white man, yeah, white man. Hey, but I'm a Christian, you know. Come to pay, I'm a Christian. And what I tell them, what I always tell them is that, well, not necessarily tell them, but it's always it's always a question to them. where does the Bible come from? Uh, it comes from John or the people of the basically the writers, disciples. No, sure. The ones came with the Bible. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. I can I can I can go with that idea, but but um but John John didn't write the Bible. John wrote some scrolls that were discovered by a white person, took the scrolls to Rome, the Vatican City, and that's where the card is stored. In fact, every scroll that is always discovered is taken to the Vatican City. They say that America is the capital city of the world. Vatican City is the capital city of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Vatican City is the White House of the world. That's really Vatican awesome. City is the most protected place in the world, yeah. more than the White House, the yeah. Vatican City. The Pope. Sure. The Pope is the president. This is the, this is the, Pope, the, the president of the world. Mm. It's the Pope on top of the pyramid, and then it's all the other presidents underneath. Yeah. You know, some people believe in the 1% of the 1%. To a certain point, it's either the 1% holds the Pope or the Pope holds the 1%. <laughs> either or we don't, I don't know also on that because something that I don't have proof of. But the, the Vatican City is it's up there. And then what happened is um, all the scrolls that are found, and mind you, thousands of scrolls, thousands and thousands of scrolls are being discovered, that are being stored in the Vatican City, um, storage houses or whatever, vaults, vaults and what they're down. They're stored there. Yeah. And what they did is out of all the ones that they had, and now I'm talking about 500 years back, because the Bible is not even that old, by the way. Yeah. Things like, things like, not even, I think, how many years? 500? Four? Somewhere up. But yeah, back in those times, yeah. there was a group of people that then decided what text goes to compile the Bible. Sure. There are 66 scriptures in the Bible. There is 44 on the New Old Testament, 20 something on the New, somewhere up. But, anyways, the people that sat and dis and, and decided, because I will take this scroll, Matthew, and within Matthew, we're removing this verse and this verse and that verse. We're leaving this verse. This makes Matthew. We're putting it there. We take Revelation. There were people that sat and picked what goes to compile the Bible. And those people were not black. People are not black. And this happened in group. A Rome. Romance. Yeah, a Rome. The same yeah. people that crucified Jesus as well. Yeah. Imagine, the people that crucified Jesus are the ones who are controlling the Christian religion. <laughs> They're the ones who are talking about Jesus. Sure. Same people that crucified him. <laughs> yeah. Which now corner crucifixion is still a question mark as well. Did yeah. it happen? Did it not happen? I think that's a topic for another day. But what I'm trying to say is that someone will say, evil, what what not, what not. But later, they, later tonight, they, they read the Bible. Whereas the same Bible has been compiled and put together by a white person. So, so what I'm saying, so, 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 the issue that I have with that, yeah, that it came from a white person, is I always have the question, Guti, if a white person really had the key to get to heaven, would they share it with a black person? Because I don't think yeah. they would share it with a black person. If there's a yeah. way of getting to heaven, 
I don't think it will be shared with the, with the black person. And that being, now you have, now you have, now you have the Bible, right? It comes from a white man. The Bible has been translated through various languages, Latin, um, ancient Hebrew, so on and so on and so on. This is not done by a black person still. No black person is involved in this thing, right? Perhaps, perhaps John did write Revelation, you know, from, from, from the, by the presence of God, you know, showing him the future and whatnot. Because even in African, we have people who connect with God, God gives them visions, God... John probably is a black man as well. Whatever you want to call it, but gifts are always there within us Africans. Yeah. You know, it's not a Christian thing to sure. have a gift, you know. Uh, just that we don't call them prophets. It's and it's quite a There's other things as well that have to do with spiritual uh gifts. Yeah. But um Perhaps John did get uh, that enlightenment from God to, tell, to speak about certain verses, that scripture that he wrote. But how sure are we that that's what we have in the Bible? Could it have not been omitted or edited by the white men to suit their agenda? How sure are we? Like, how do you put your faith in a book that you've been given by your oppressor to read and follow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like the 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 the, 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 the that thought that uh, that that I have and to hear a Christian saying but later open the Bible, I'm like ignorance. What if Lindo Funda Lapo Vele Ipalolo You know, what if this is not this, these are not John's writing? <laughs> what if these are <laughs> these are none, none of the disciples wrote these things? Yeah. What if they, what if they did write it on the scrolls? But when they interpreted them, they were like, whoa, okay, we're not putting none of this thing up. Yeah. No one should know this thing. Yeah, but then, nah, so le, like the scrolls, where are those scrolls? Because first of all, Masia go our own knowledge, uh, Kemet knowledge. You can find anything. It's still it's there the yeah. in the walls. In the walls. <laughs> <laughs> and I food. Yeah, like the road is so deep that it will last a thousand years still written, you'll get that information. Yeah. But where are the scrolls? Are they even scrolls? Because I'm calling my scrolls as if you're in level. I've never even seen the scrolls as well. What if there are no scrolls? What do we know? We don't know that. But the issue here is not about the existence or the non existence of the scrolls. The issue here is that this book that we're reading comes from a white man. Yeah. That's the issue here. Sure. This um, Islam thing, this Islam um, um, Quran. Comes from an from an from an Arab who's also light skin, sure. and I think we all know that light skin. At some point, the white person was involved in making this light skin thing. Yeah, which became an Arab through you know time, time and generations of reading and whatnot. Because we used to interpret a lot. I mean, that's why sure. we even have colors. Yeah. it's not it's it's not all black women who were raped. Yeah. To, to to come pregnant with a colored child, there were. I think some of them now they bath them because yeah. there was a point of harmony in the Cape yeah. between the Makosa and the white person. Yeah. But I'm not saying, uh, but I am saying, which though they are our ancestors were raped. Sure. That, that, that I'm sure of. Yeah. That I'm sure with the valley. Some of our some of our ancestors were raped mm. to bring in this race. But what I'm trying to say is that a white man is involved in the lightning of of a human being. So. Sure. Arabs as well, you know. But yeah, I was one shopping up. At some point, I'm sure they interpreted with the Romans or whatever white empire there was existing in that time or whatever. Yeah. But then it comes from them either ways. It comes sure. from them sure. and falls into the African land. Yeah. You know, this information that that you are you are now supposed to believe in <laughs> and abandon your own thing. The only thing that you are told by your own grandmother, no pila go lumbona ko, lumbona na we pila koko. I go school malaysian, na I koko na I was told go muntu ake, I go 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 ake. What no? I was just generational coming until it gets to you. But it's so easy for for people to take the Quran, take the Bible, and trust it with all their heart, 
what if these things really are written for a reason? Yeah. It's a tool. What if what, what if it's a tool? Like like the Christians think of that. I mean, we're already seeing that bus oppress Alabanda. But, but, but we still continue to go, to go there, yeah, well, yeah. to trust the thing that they gave us. Because we were given the Bible. Like some of them have a Bible, like some of them have a compiler, some of them have a translator. It all comes from a white person. It's quite clear which he... I learned to learn like it's a tool in a way. But then many people are just resisting, like by a protector by all means. A protector food. Especially when I took like this, because it comes from a white man. Yeah. Someone told me, with you know, Mvula, uh, when are you focusing on the wrong thing? <laughs> it doesn't matter whether Jesus was black or white. Yeah. And I said, no, it does matter. Yeah. It matters because the white men make sure that it matters to them that Jesus yeah. must be white. Sure. Why is that? Sure. And, and, and when are you so easily, easy, you, see, you, you easily accept Jesus being white than him being black? There's a reason why it's important. For me, it is important because the white men are also making it important. Yeah. So it's important because it shows dominance, unfortunately. If Jesus is white and you're Christian, you are, you are bound to look at a white man as superior. Mm. But if he's black, now we are Shinjan. I'm sorry, man. I'm just saying. You know, if, <laughs> if Jesus... If Jesus... <laughs> If Jesus yeah. existed for real, yeah. <laughs> man, if Jesus really existed, <laughs> I'm so gonna get cancelled by the Christian community. Yo, I hope I hope my grandmother never sees this this, this podcast. Yo, I'm gonna lose your shame. I'm gonna lose your shame. I'm saying, if Jesus existed, man, mm. if Jesus existed, he was not the Son of God. Yeah, he was just the person that is a spiritual gift. Like all the other people that also have spiritual gifts. Same thing goes for Muhammad. Mm. Spiritual gifts. Uh, Jesus had the same spiritual gift as 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 Kukus uh, Kwaten. Yeah. When it's pure, sure. you're able to access things. You're able to do things. You're able to envision, to see, to to heal without medicine. It's spiritual. But Leoti is the son of God and one of a virgin, Mary. No, I I I I believe If it did exist, if it did exist, I that's that's how Jesus was. And Mark Jalo Forty, he's black. Cause even the same Bible describes him as black in Revelation. He described the coming of Jesus, saying that his hair is it resembles that of a sheep. Okay. It's yeah. woolly. Yeah. His his skin is is um uh, it, it's 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 the color of bent um bent pro, um bronze. Yeah. Oh, bent copper. Sorry, okay. bent copper. Yeah. If you have the time, <laughs> check out on YouTube. How does bent copper look? It's black. black. <laughs> He's black. Christians do not want to hear this when I say because the other thing about, 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 about Christians name. And I say this not because I'm attacking Christians, just that I grew up in a Christian space. I interact like come on, we in South Africa. Yeah. You chances of meeting Christians are higher than you bumping to a Muslim. Because now I don't even know a lot of Muslim black guys. It's not, it's not, it's not that, that many. But Christians are everywhere. My first yeah. No, I think that's the, that's the, the nearest shop I would have met about 10 Christians. Yeah. So these are, these are who people that I interact with. Yeah. But yeah, Christians, they don't like these things, especially when I start quoting them from the book that they read. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, but here, yeah, from the book. You know. <laughs> Ancestry, where God blesses people that he'll connect them to his ancestors. Um, we'll connect this person to, to, to the ancestors as a blessing. It's in the Bible. God telling people to go look for their ancestors. It's in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Even though, I mean, I don't believe in the Bible because it comes from a white man, but if I have to make arguments now, I'd pull in the same book and be like, okay, yeah, but yeah, now you're going to go. You're going to go. I manipulate. I'm going to go. Man, let's close here because 
it's longer now like almost so, one hour 30 minutes <laughs> yeah, and i'd like for us to make a part two of this no, definitely we should definitely yeah. we should yeah actually let's just end it here then we'll have a part two yeah man thanks man all right no thanks very much yeah. okay <laughs> Oh, my God.